Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that's going to assist us in breaking up a drawing so that we can, maybe from the context of uh, sharing it with others, we can share just the piece that those folks may be interested in. Let me explain. I've got a road project here that is currently displayed on several layout tabs that uh, span from one end of the project to the other. If I come into model space, I can see the entire length of the, the road job and the different areas that are broken out onto different sheets. Now what I'm up against is one of the sub-consultants that I'm working with. I need to, uh, as part of their request, give them a drawing that only includes the information that's on sheet three. Now, you, as you can imagine, because I'm using model space and paper space uh, with this layout, if we were to save the drawing, I'm giving them everything. Uh, the layout itself is kind of a window into the model. So for me to give them a drawing that's representative of specifically what's on that sheet, I would have to come into here and start, you know, trimming and erasing. And if these folks were using uh, AutoCAD, which is usually the case when a request like that is made, I'd also have to convert my civil 3D objects to be able to successfully do this. So um, was I usually asked to do this quite a bit when I was doing it in production, and that process would take some time to do. Uh, fortunately, now there's a tool that is uh, available to us in the software that will help facilitate this very quickly. That tool is called Export uh, Layout. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go to the layout that I'm interested in. Uh, my overall drawing is called Plan Production, and the drawing that or the layout that I'm interested in is Road Grading 3. I would like to give the uh, be able to provide a drawing that is the geometry that is uh, is made up on this this sheet only. So what we're going to do is I'm going to type in export layout. We'll hit enter. It's going to ask us where we would like to take and send the file. Uh, it's going to use the name of the file we're in plus the name of the layout. So plan production three road grading sheet three. That's fine. We'll go ahead and save that. It's going to go ahead and export it. The file was successfully created. Would we'd like to open it now? Sure. Let's go ahead and open the file. And if we open it up, we'll give it a minute to uh, complete the opening process. It, it basically looks exactly like what we were in before. However, we're in Plan Production Road Grading 3. We see that there are no other layouts. Um, as a matter of fact, if I go to the layouts, what it has effectively done is it's converted the entire drawing into model space. So the, uh, the border and that, on occasion when we convert some of this, we'll get some uh, additional uh, text or maybe some things that, uh, which can be quickly erased. Those aren't a, a big deal. If that was, uh, that's all I need to clean up, that'll be a great thing. We come in and look. It has taken my Civil 3D drawing and it's converted it into a block, but all of the information that's contained within that block is now AutoCAD objects. But the great thing is it's maintained 100% of the visual fidelity that I had in Civil 3D and I'm dealing with AutoCAD uh, entities as I, uh, as I work. Now, a couple things when looking at this. Uh, first, if we were to measure a, a distance on our, uh, on our model here, if we were to pick and we measure a distance from, say, this point to this point, uh, stationing would be 100 feet down the street. We see the distance is 5.66. So basically what it's done is it's taken that sheet and it's created an AutoCAD drawing of those objects, basically the size of the printed sheet. Now, for some folks, that's, hey, that's fine. For other folks, it's not because yeah, I'd like to still have the model geometry at the true size and, and scale of what was uh, included in my main file. So let's take a quick look at how we can do that. We'll maybe take this command a step further if we need to go a little further than that. I'm going to zoom up on an area here. We can see that, uh, let's actually in my model, station 34 to 35. So we'll come in here and look at that same area. Uh, 34 to, we'll say, to station 3450. Now I've got a point of tangency here, so it'll be really close to 50 feet, but let's just get the distance. We'll do the distance from the midpoint here to the midpoint of this guy so we can see what it is. True size, true shape. So 49.9960, okay? We'll come back to uh, our model, and if we were to check that now, we'll see that in our model file, our distance from the midpoint of here, and if I hold down my shift key and right click, I get the object snaps. We'll say to the midpoint of here, my distance is 2.4998. All right, needed to be the 49.9960. Well, the, uh, the way we can fix that very quickly 
is if we come back to uh, the plan production tab and we look at that sheet road grading, I can come back and I can look at the viewport scale that was used for that uh, uh, sheet. And if we look at properties, after we highlight it, we'll right click and look at properties, we see that my, uh, my scale for that, uh, that particular viewport, oops, that particular viewport is, is 20 scale. So knowing that, we'll go ahead. That's why I just want to lock your viewport so you don't uh, lose the display there. So we'll undo to bring that back. I'll come back to this guy. And what we'll do is we will scale it. So we'll say scale. I'll type that in. Objects, I'm going to say all. Those things I can see and perhaps anything that I can't. Uh, I'm going to scale them by the corner of the border here and we'll scale it up by a factor of 20. In doing so, we'll come and look at this. Uh, my distance now, you see some of my geometry, I've lost my line types. That's because the geometry is physically bigger now. I'm going to adjust that. We'll say LT scale. We'll set that to 20. So now everything looks as it should with its new size. But uh, our distance here now should be reflective of what we had in the main file. We'll say distance from the midpoint of here, uh, just to confirm to the midpoint on this guy. We were off the screen when we picked that, so we'll try that one more time. Midpoint of here to, we'll say, the midpoint of this guy. And we see that it's the 49.9960. All right, so by scaling up the product that we receive when we do the export layout by the scale of our viewport, we will get geometry that is now true size, true shape of what was in our model. So now we get the benefit of breaking it into AutoCAD objects, just the objects that are contained within that sheet, and they are the true size. Let's say we wanted to go one more step further. Uh, folks, maybe when they get the drawing and they get this piece of it, uh, it would be really helpful for them if it actually sat on the same coordinate system that was in the main file. All right, we'll take it one more step further now. We want it to match the coordinates. So we'll come back to our plan production drawing. After we've exported it, I'm going to come into model space here, and we will look at uh, perhaps this, this building here on sheet 3. I, I really just need to grab something. We'll grab this building. We'll make it easier. So we'll... Select a couple of entities here to just uh, grab that. Let's grab the outline. Just start getting tedious now. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. All right. The other thing I'm going to do is just kind of hover over the corner here. And if I look at my coordinates down here in the bottom, I can see that the you know vicinity of where I'm in is about uh, ten million forty four thousand by about uh, two hundred and eighty thousand. Okay, so we'll come into our plan production drawing, which we're already in model space. I'm going to right click and we're going to take those objects we've copied. Let me right click over here so that's not cropped off the screen. And we're going to say paste to original coordinates. So when we paste that to original coordinates, what we're going to do next is uh, I'm going to split my screen in half. So we'll go into viewports. We'll do two vertical. So on one side, we have our uh, uh, plan production. Actually, uh, on this, we have both uh, two views of the same file, but then we've got our plan production up here. Let's zoom up, take a look at our representative building. That looks good. On this side, I'm going to use Zoom Center. I could use Zoom Extents to try and find those objects, but at 10 million, it's pretty far away. I mean, our drawing looks like a speck here. Those entities would be difficult to find otherwise. So what I'm going to do is we'll say uh, Zoom uh, center, and we're going to do uh, 10 million 44 thousand by 280 thousand. We just got to find out where it's at. Uh, magnification height will set it about a thousand, and we see there's our uh, our objects. So I'm going to pan that down here. That's where it's sitting in space. And then we're going to use a uh, similar select objects command as before. What we want to do now is we want to align or move all of our objects up into space where it should be. We'll say, uh, we'll use the command align, A-L-I-G-N. 
select objects, I'm going to type in all again, basically everything I can see and anything that maybe I can't. Uh, once I've selected, uh, I'm going to click in this window because I don't need to uh, uh, align this. Uh, that's already in the proper position, so I'm going to hold down the shift key, make a crossing dialog, put that down. Everything else should be adjusted except for that. I'll right click, come back into this window, first source point. I'd like to match the end down here to the end up here. And then I'm going to match the end down here. All right, effectively, we just need to match two objects uh, or two points. We'll match from end to end in both places there. Uh, third source point, I don't have one. We're not doing any three-dimensional transformation, so I'll right-click. Scale objects based on alignment points. Now, uh, I could say no because it shouldn't have to be scaled because we already scaled it by 20. But you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to say yes for the sole purpose that uh, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Map, they all will maintain accuracy to 14 places to the right of the decimal. So if for some reason there was some statistical value way out uh, uh, beyond the decimal, if I were to scale it, uh, I'll actually get a, the best conversion I can possibly get rather than of just saying 20 before. So we'll say yes. Performs the operation. We'll take our, our screen, bring it back to a, a single viewport, and if I back up, I now see that uh, I've got my model geometry uh, true size, true shape, and if I'm hovering over it in space, I can see my coordinates are the same as what I had before. All right. So once again, uh, when posed with a challenge of uh, maybe a drawing with multiple layouts, and I need to provide someone, even maybe just with Core AutoCAD, a copy of only the geometry that is available on that particular sheet, but I don't want to lose any of the visual fidelity. Rather than going through a a bunch of steps and trimming those things out like uh, I would have done historically. We can now use the command export layout to uh, accomplish that for us very quickly. And then through a couple of simple tools beyond that, if uh, getting the sheet size is, is uh, not going to be adequate, we need to scale it up or get it to the appropriate coordinates, we can do that very quickly. So uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful and I'll talk to you again real soon. See ya.